today was the 27th day of putting the floral uracil on my face and it's probably the last day I've done it. Um, doctor told me when it got to the point was called erosion where a lot of the skin is basically flaking off uh, then that was it because the new skin was trying to grow off from underneath so after I washed it this morning sure enough I mean yesterday was pretty much the same thing and even the day before a lot of the skin was just all flakes kind of like you have after a bad sunburn so that's the point to just go ahead and stop because the the, uh, the 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 bad skin is getting pushed off by the new skin growing out underneath so hopefully the reaction would stop because it only affects um, it only affects bad skin so or anyway that's it now I'm gonna go through the healing process and I'm all shiny because I have a thing called aquifer it's kind of like a petroleum jelly and it has some very mild antibiotics in it that help uh, prevent uh, infections and things I've got a lot of weeping in areas around my nose that's why it looks so gross uh, that uh, you know like white um, uh, blood cells and stuff want to come out plasma or whatever and it kind of gets collects on your skin as it dries so it's pretty gross hopefully that stuff will start shedding off in another day or so but this is it um, no more of this hopefully all of the actinic keratosis has been caught um, same thing on my forehead the uh, hairline kind of repeated itself and you can see on the side there and this side did have a lot more reaction to it um, this stuff is going to take probably two to three weeks to clear up and I'll probably be red looking uh, for you know maybe a two months afterwards uh, and I'll start wearing sunscreen quite a bit but this is what you get hopefully it's worth it the itching and the burning are driving me crazy and of course I got all that goo on there so I can't be scratching it but um, uh, I'll do an update sometime later once it's all over with.